Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing another indie horror game, and this one is called Ain't It Reality? A Nile Vale Neighborhood Game. So this one got requested, so I'm expecting it to be very good. And if it is good, show some love, press that subscribe button, and let's jump into the video. Ain't It Reality, Episode 1. Nile Vale neighborhood. This story? Hmm. I'm not really comfortable of sharing it with friends, even strangers. However, I have the courage to do so. So my name is Nias Colin. I was 18 years old when this happened, and now I'm 20. I was relocated to a new neighborhood because of a job. I work as a journalist and had two days off before returning to work. Honestly, I was quite hesitant about moving to the new area that my job offered. At first, living in a new place was challenging for me. I missed my old friends and the familiar surroundings. However, I tried to stay positive and focused on my work. My salary is decent and it seems to be just enough to support my life. However, I can't seem to satisfy myself. I'm always learning and studying, which makes me feel disconnected from the world. I've never even treated myself to expensive food or clothing and etc. Even my slow car hasn't been serviced for over five months, but somehow it still runs. This is my story of moving to Nailville. Okay, here we go. Let's get in. Okay, so we're just like in a random area. When I drive this car, I looked around the cozy trees. Through the road is a bit winding. That uh, I'm headed to my new neighbourhood, moving because of the work. Such a bad idea. Uh, refreshing change from the usual city streets. <laughs> Being alone in a new city can be challenging and hard. What the hell? Who was that? Especially when without my old friends around, I really miss hanging out with Nelson and others. Good old Nelson. It's hard to recreate those moments once again when everyone is miles away. Look forward to the day I can reunite with Nelson and the others. When I reach my new neighbourhood, oh shit, <laughs> to my new neighbourhood, uh, I think I'll go to sleep first before doing that. This damn old car really pissed me off. I should have to sell this car and buy a new one, but no one wants this car. I'm not sure if I'm on the right. No, I am on the wrong side. Oops. Oh, here we go. 8.48 p.m. Finally, I've arrived at the neighborhood. I was supposed to introduce myself to the neighbors today, but somehow I ended up dozing off again. Realizing it's already night time, I feel a bit disappointed for missing the chance again. But then I think to myself, why wait? It's never too late to make new acquaintances. I've heard stories about neighbors who enjoy staying up late, perhaps smoking, playing chess, or having a cup of coffee. So I decide to take a walk around the neighborhood looking neighbours and about my house. As I enter my new home, I'm stuck by its interior. It's beautifully designed and it's so classic, but I can't help but notice how small it feels. Well, it's in a remote area, so I can't expect too much from it. Here we go. Turn that bloody alarm off. Come on, sleepyhead. What's he doing? You. Oh no, not again. How did I manage to oversleep at this hour? I was supposed to go out and meet the neighbours today, but now it's already getting dark. 
This is the second time I've missed the chance to introduce myself. Hopefully, there are still some neighbours around who are willing to chat. But it seems like I have to turn off on the lights first because it's really dark. And turn off that bloody alarm. Oh, thank God. Sorry for that. Here we go. Oh no, not now. Why does my stomach have to act up at a time like this? Ugh, I think it was that huge spicy meal Nelson insisted we have before I left. His portions are always, always as scary. I can't believe I let myself eat so much. Now I'm paying the price for it. Maybe I should just wait until the pain subsides a bit. But what if it gets worse when I'm outside? But, but I, c I can't risk running into neighbours smelling like this. Okay, stop talking. Let me just go to the toilet quickly and try to freshen up as best I can. Yeah, go and freshen up. Is this the toilet? I'm guessing this might be a toilet. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like me after an Indian. Push. To be honest, you never have to push that hard after Indian. Jesus. Is he, is he trying to get out a little baby? Okay. Gosh, it is re it's really stuck. Okay, is that... Have I done it? What's going on? It's all dark. Oh! Ah, that's better. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Yeah, he's about ten pounds lighter, probably. Alright, I'm ready to go. Hopefully I can still catch some of the neighbours before it gets too late. Hmm, it's getting pretty dark out there. I'd better bring a flashlight, just in case. Like the one that you're holding right now. <laughs> okay, what is that? I'm not sure. Okay, so I've got my flashlight. Anything in there? No. What's he... Oh, is that a Spider-Man bed? It is a Spider-Man bed cover. Oh. Lovely. Okay. Here we go. Let's go and scare some neighbours, so... Oh. Who's this fella just standing in Chava? Oh, hello there. I just moved in next door yesterday. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi. I'm Chava. Nice to meet you too. Although I must say, it's a bit surprising to see new faces here so soon. Oh, why? Why do you say that? To be honest, people come and go so quickly. I No one really knows why. But I am sure you, I'm here to stay. I've just moved to this area because of my new job. That's good to hear. I hope you'll find this neighbourhood welcoming. And by the way, since you're new here, I should let you know that my house is right next to yours. Oh really? That's great. It's nice to have a neighbour right next door. We'll probably be seeing a lot of each other then. Actually, I'm often out of the house for important events. My schedule can be quite hectic, so I'm not around as much as I'd like to be. Ah, I see. Well, I'll make sure not to bother you too much then. Yeah, since you're new here, you might want to meet the security guard who patrols our area. Ah, that's a good idea. I'd love to get to know the people who help to keep our neighbourhood safe. Where can I find him? His camp is just a few steps away from here. You can't miss it. Got it. I'll make sure to say hello to... Wait, what's his name? Oh, his name is, um, you know what, I've, I've totally forgot. Why don't you just head, go ahead and find him yourself? Alright, I will go and meet that security guard. Thank you, Chava, for uh, the heads up. Yeah, welcome to the neighbourhood. Okay, locked. Right, did he, s I think he said it was like, somewhere around here I can't remember it's 
so it's not this way. Oh, I hate a game that I can't... I can't sprint. So, um, let's go up this way. Because it seems everywhere else has uh, been blocked. Is that a light there? I think it is. Let's head this way. There's a couple of lights. Oh, street lamps. Duh. Right, where's this guy's camp? Ooh, is this it? Why is he on the floor? He's not a good security guard. What's going on here? Hello? Um, hello? Are you, are you okay? He's sleeping. I need to wake him up. Hello? What? Huh? Oh, sorry about that. I must have fallen asleep. Who are you? Hi, I'm Nias. I just moved in next door. Chavo recommended I introduce myself to you. Ah, new neighbour? Huh? Sorry for the sleepy greeting, I'm Libro, the security guard around here. Nice to meet you, Nias. Nice to meet you too, sir. No worries about the nap. I just want to say hello and introduce myself. Thanks for the understanding and thanks for coming up by to say hello. It's good to know who my neighbours are. Actually, Nias, why don't you have a seat for a moment? I have some free time and it would be good to have a chat a bit more. Oh sure, thank you. So just... Oh! Here he is. So, Nias, tell me a bit about yourself. What brings you to this neighbourhood? I moved here for a new job. Just trying to settle in and get to know everyone. Ah, that's cool. New job, new place, huh? It's a pretty friendly neighbourhood here. Have you had a chance to meet many of your neighbours yet? Yeah, I've met a few, like Chava, who lives next door. Everyone, hmm, I, I don't know. By the way, Libro, do you have any interesting stories about this neighbourhood? Anything I should know? I've been here for a few years now, and let me tell you, it's an interesting place. But there's always something you should know. There are quite a few houses here that are empty and abandoned. Really? That's surprising. Any idea why? These houses were deliberately left empty. The door was locked tightly with multiple padlocks and even had a complicated security code. It is nearly impossible for anyone to get in or out without proper access. That's really unusual. Do you know why they've left empty? Honestly, I've got no idea. It's a mystery to me. The owners seem to have just left them and never returned. It's like they vanished or something. That's quite creepy. It must bother you to have houses like that in the neighbourhood. Don't worry too much about those empty houses, Nias. They've been like that for about eight years now. Oh, really? That's a long time. So it's been this way for quite a while then. Yeah, it has. At first, people were curious and concerned, just like you. But over the years, we've gotten used to it. Nothing strange has happened and everything's been quiet. That's good to hear. I guess if nothing has happened in all these years, it's probably okay. Still, a bit of a mystery though. Also, since you're new here, why don't you take a walk around the neighbourhood? Even for it's empty. Sounds like a good idea. Just one thing though, when you're exploring, try not to, try to avoid the street that passes by those two empty houses we've talked about earlier. Um, why should I avoid that street with the two empty houses? Oh well, you see, it's just because of something ongoing. Construction work. Alright then, thanks for the head up. Oh yeah, yes, before you head out, can you do me a favour? Sure. What do you need? Could you give 
pack of instant noodles to Jonas for me. I owe him three from yesterday. Also, the noodles is at my warehouse. Sure, no problem. But who's Jonas? Oh, Jonas the guy who runs a small store down the neighbourhood. His shop is nestled in the middle of the forest near the warehouse. And make sure to bring a flashlight just in case it gets dark out here and there's a lot of wild cats roaming around. Ah, I see. I'll make sure to give it him when I see him. Also, where exactly is the warehouse you mentioned? So, my warehouse is just up ahead. Once we get there, you'll notice a turn where there's an empty house area. Don't go to the house area, just keep going straight and take a left turn instead. Goodbye, I'll continue my sleep. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's just shoes. So, I'm trying to think which bloody way to go. Is this the way? It seems like that's just completely. Yeah, I can't go that way. Is it through the trees? I don't think so. I feel like it might be that way, but let's just check before. Uh... Yeah, it's not this way. Oh, God. Can't go that way. Okay, so let's head back. So it was like, go straight. I'll go through here. Oh. Oh, here we go. Right, just need to get some noodles one at a time oh that's annoying okay I've got to figure out which bloody way to go this way no so we're back in the warehouse okay So I've completely forgot exactly where this person's house is. It's got to be one of these, even though I've got to turn. I've got to go this way. Can't. It's not letting me. Okay, we've actually found it. That took quite a while. So he's supposed to be at the store. Let's head in. Oh, bloody hell. Jonas, no, 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 don't steal anything. What do you think you're doing? Holy moly, you scared me. Wait, I'm not a thief or anything. I'm Libro's friend. What do you mean? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, it's just your face is unfamiliar around here and I have to be careful. This place is unsafe. Oh, I understand. I'm actually new in the neighbourhood. My name is Nias Lebron, the security guard. 
asked me to give these box of noodles to you. He owe you. Ah, I see. Sorry for the misunderstanding. I just remember that Libra owes me three box of noodles. Please put the box in the basket. Basket? Where is the basket? The basket is on the left side of the cashier. Don't you see it? I see it now. All right, I've put the box of noodles to the basket. Right, I'll go and get another box. This is the last box. Nothing's happened so far. They're really quiet. Hey, you done yet? You done yet? You done? You done yet? Jesus. Uh, yeah. I packed the noodles in your basket. Is everything all right? Good. Good. Come over to the cash register. Let's have a little chat. There are some things you should know about this neighbourhood. Oh God. Turn that off. All right. What would you like to talk about? You see, Niaz, this neighbourhood, it's not as it seems. There's a dark history here, a history that many don't talk about. Rumour has it that there were sacrifices made in this very neighbourhood, sacrifices of innocent lives. Sacrifices? What do you mean? I mean, there are rituals, dark ceremonies performed by those who are trying in their occult. They believe that by offering these sacrifices, they can make money, or morality and wealth. That sounds terrifying. Is there any truth to these stories? You'll find out soon enough, young one. Just remember what I told you. Trust no one and always be on your guard. <laughs> just kidding, kid. Got got you there, didn't I? Wait, what? Are you serious or not? <laughs> got you good. It's all just a bunch of spooky stories people like to tell around here. Keep things interesting, you know? Oh, you really scared me there. It's not even funny, Jonas. Damn it. Ah, uh, don't be too hard on yourself. It's always fun to mess around with the new folks being on a serious note. Lately there's been some strange people roaming around the neighbourhood. That's why I was cautious when you first walked in. I thought you might be one of them. Really? Strange people? Like who? Oh, uh, you know, just people acting a bit off. And the worst thing, we don't even know his face and why he's here. That sort of thing. It's probably nothing, but it's better to be safe than sorry, right? My younger sister had a creepy experience in this neighbourhood not too long ago. Oh, what happened? She was playing outside with her friends one day and she noticed something, someone following her. This person was acting very strangely, lurking in the shadows and keeping a close eye on her. So it's like a stalker or something. Yeah, stalker. That's what I mean. No stalker is lurking in the neighbourhood, I think. That sounds scary. Is she okay? Thankfully, she noticed him before anything happened and immediately came home. She was quite shaken by the experience and hasn't played outside since. That's really concerning. Have you reported it to the authorities? Yes, we did. Police said they would look into it, but so far, nothing has come of it. That's why I always tell her to be cautious and stay close to home. I'll definitely be extra careful then. Thanks for sharing that with me. It's important to be aware of these things. Just remember to always trust your instincts and stay safe out there. If you ever feel uncomfortable or threatened, hide or protect yourself. So what are your plans after this, Niaz? I was thinking of taking a walk around the neighbourhood, getting to know the area a bit better. Ah, night walk, huh? Well, just be careful. It's getting late and I'll be closing up soon. It might be best for you to head home quickly. I think I will go for a walk a bit and then head home. Is that alright? No problem, kid. Just remember to stay safe out there. If you ever need anything, I'm not here because I'm sleeping. Oh, and just one more thing before you go. Since you're planning to take a walk around the neighbourhood, it might be a good idea to bring a flashlight with you. You see, the trees around here are quite dense and lush. Sometimes snakes can be lurking around, especially at night. A flashlight will help you see where you're stepping and avoid unwanted encounters. Sure, thanks Jonas. You're welcome, Niaz. 1am. Just
I'm done. I'm done talking with Jonas. All right. I decided to sleep for a bit and then I want to explore the neighbourhood. I should go home. Right now. Ah, oh. Unbelievable. It robbed my flashlight. Luckily we do know where we're going. Just over there. Just need to... Uh, need this character to speed up a bit. Feeling a bit better now, but I'm still a bit dizzy. Like something's been put into my body. I didn't even realise it's already noon and everything's so bright. I feel like my head's being dragged by an angel. Why is my head. Ooh. Yeah, 
Cover the creep. Well, what the heck just happened to me? I was walking with someone, someone I think I know. How can I suddenly find myself in the middle of these empty houses? This is so strange. So I just dozed off because I was tired but I woke up and I can't remember a thing. I don't know why but I feel comfortable like I want to take a photo of one of these houses. going on No clue what I'm supposed to be doing right now. That calm feeling is now temporary and has disappeared. I feel anxious passing those two empty houses. Now the atmosphere is it's very eerie and beyond my imagination I feel like someone is watching me. Passing those two I felt uneasy. The more I explore, the more I regret not listening to Jonas' advice. The houses around me looked old and many. Suddenly I heard a noise. It turned out to be a sound of the wind, but it made me even more... going on. I've got no clue where I'm walking to either. Hey! Well, 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 what do we have here? Such a pretty boy walking, wandering alone in the dark. What? Who Who are you? Oh, just a friendly neighbour, but no, notice your pretty face, you know. You shouldn't be here alone, but lucky for you, I can accompany you, you all the time. Oh, I couldn't help but notice your from afar. Couldn't resist coming closer for a better look. You look deliciously lost. I don't need your help. Leave me alone. Oh, come on now. Don't be shy. I've got plenty of interesting things to show you. Maybe we could have some f fun together. I'm not interested. Stay away from me. And I'll call the police. Oh, feisty. I like that. But I still love you, pretty boy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was not ready for the run. Is that my house? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so that was Ain't it reality, Nine Vale Neighbourhood. If you enjoyed it, show some love, press that subscribe button. I'll be catching you in the next video.